get you a filter. Somebody says, how much coffee, Phil, do you put in your, when you're making coffee? How much? Ha! See, this is not foam on the top, colada, whatever they call it, you know. Women coffee. You go in, you know, and they got a little foam or swirl on it, you know, and they got all these fancy names, you know. You just put as many grounds as the thing will hold. You see what I'm saying? The problem with coffee is you try to drink it, and uh, you go to these places. Let's see right here. America has a difficult time with coffee. In most places you go, the chefs in these big restaurants, they know what good coffee is. But most of the truck stops and stuff like that, little cafes, it's just lightly tinted water. There's no, there's no taste to it. Not enough coffee grounds. Between the chemicals and the additives, and the cream, Irish sweet cream, and this and that and the other, and, and a cup of coffee, you end up with just some sort of sweet drink at daylight in the morning. Uh, this is some called by some Russian tap dance coffee, because you drink about a half a cup, and like the cloggers, see you got, you got clogging going on when you drink about half that pot right there. So I'll try a milk cup here early this morning before I get out there and see if I can kill a duck. See the color of that? That'd be black. Now the little skinny yuppie girls in the subdivision, they wasn't like this. And their husbands, grown men, they go, oh, they're like, whoa, you got any sugar? I said, sugar? No, it's a cup of coffee, black. Drink it, dude, it'll help you out. But it's a hard sell in America. Everybody turn left, and the next thing you know, grown men are acting like women. Scared of a black cup of coffee. It's pathetic to watch. That is very good. What America needs, simply put, is more manliness, more boldness, more uh, grit. We need to look back, instead of trying to rewrite and erase our history, we need to look back at our history and you say, tell you what, those were some men who came across here and settled America hard-working, living off the land, trapping beavers, otter. You're like, this thing started on the backs of hunters, fishermen, trappers. That's how we started. You look up 240 years later and you're like, what in the world happened to America's manhood and its boldness? Can't even stand off black cup of coffee these days. You know why I like my coffee black? Because I drink it as it is. I drink it as it is. What we need is more men in America that tell it like it is. They do what is right no matter where they are. They are what they are. We're losing that at an alarming rate. Maybe some will consider getting back to it. We're going duck hunting.